Oh, Yaraboon, Joanna Chimayo. That is, of course, good morning, everyone, in Korean. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And we are on part five. What is part five? Part five of what? Well, it's part five of this, okay? And what is this? This is part five of the Master Grade Sazabi by Bandai. And we're building it. And we have lots done. We finished up our body section yesterday. Um, I've taken the arms off, so we do have arms that go on each side. They go doink like this, and they have shoulder pads that go on them like this. And we've got two of those. We have a shield. We have a leg finished. And yeah, so we are going to finish this big bad boy today. So that's where we are. That's what we're doing. We're going to finish this bad boy. I have three little buckets of parts. What I did, as you can see by the band-aid on my thumb, I took the rest of the parts off of all the runners yesterday and I cleaned them all up. And yeah, I did some harsh work on my thumb by doing that. So yeah, we'll I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so what I have is I have all the parts in little buckets and I've kind of organized them into backpack parts in one and leg parts in these two. So, although you're, this video is not going to be about pausing and cutting and editing to, to keep from boring you guys from watching me clean up all the little nub marks and stuff like that, this video is going to be a little bit more challenging in the fact that I have to go by what they look like in the pictures rather than going by the actual runners. For example, the very first one we're going to start here, I need P31. Well, which one is P31? I don't have a runner to look at to see which is the P and then the number 31. I have to go through these and go, oh, okay, this looks like that. Okay, that's this part right here. Bing, P31. Thank you, Mr. Airplane. Oh, looks like it's going to be one of those days where the airplanes are taking off going that way and interrupting my video. So there you get to have that again. Fun stuff. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is kind of dump them out <laughs> and try and find our parts because we need this one. Oh, we need F. It's this guy. And then we need a little cup. Um, oh, right here. So these, t these three go together first. But before I get ahead of myself, um, I'm gonna change my glasses. Now if those planes start taking off every five minutes, like they do on the weekends, um, then I'm gonna wind up closing my window. Okay, so we need to take this guy here and slide him in there like this. Okay, and then this guy goes on. And this is going to become his heel, and that's this part right here. Okay. Now we move on down, we need a couple of gray pieces, which means I'm going to dump this one out. Maybe not so much. Maybe, maybe so. have the bulge on them. This guy here. No, they have that half bulge. There it is. There's this one. Okay. Now where's the other one? There he is. Okay. And we need a polycap. So I still have my little tree of polycaps. And uh, so, I need T18, this guy here. <clears throat> there we go. 
So, we're going to take this piece, we're going to take our T18, and he's going to go in right here, just like this. Okay? And then this, our little heel, is going to go in right there. <clears throat> just like that. And then this guy will sandwich everything together. <clears throat> and there we go. So we have a little bit of movement on our heel. Right? Just like that. <clears throat> and now we flip the page and I've got parts all over my book. That's okay. Let's throw them back in here. to the meat and potatoes of our build. Okay. We're going to need these, so I might as well dump them out. <clears throat> okay. So, now we're going to take this. We need a P34, which is a little cap, which, when I was cleaning it up last night, I was trying to figure out, I was trying to, wondering where that's going to go. What's that, what is that for? What's this cap for? And, There it is here, right there. So I'm going to put my little yellow guys back in here. Just because I don't want to lose them. Some pieces I you can tell just by looking at them. I know what it's for. Like this is for the top of the foot kind of thing. This is another part of the top of the foot. And another part of the top of the foot. Right, things like that. Upper leg, calf, right? Some pieces it's fairly easy to figure out what they're for. So this little cap is going to go down here, just like this, okay. And now we need K4, which is going to be each side of his heel. That's going to be these guys. <clears throat> Pretty easy to line up, especially with a hole in the, with this little slot. This is going to expose this part here. press it on and it's nice that it's going to hide those ugly nub marks on the gray part. Just like that. Okay. All right. Now, working on our toe. We're going to start with our toe. We need the bottom of the foot right here. And then we need poly cap and we need our orange top. So the poly cap is T12. Channel 12. There it is, our last number 12. <clears throat> Which gives you the feeling we're going to be finished soon. Now the way they want this positioned is we actually put it in the top. this okay now the way they have it they want it actually angled up a little bit okay so we can do that let's rotate a little bit press up a little bit now we put our two pieces together just like that all right all right now we take another part which is this big guy here, and we take our little rock grabbers. <laughs> I don't know what that, what else to call them. They go on the bottom of the foot, and they go right here, and they can come out. They can pivot, so I can grab onto the rocks. Hey, Nico. Hello, you all up there in Canada, going through a heat wave here. 37. Wow. Up to 40 tomorrow. Parts on the P38 will melt itself together without glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, right? I think the temperature here up in Canada right now 
We got a little bit of overcast, so it's only maybe about uh, 20 degrees outside right now, something like that. Of course, in my room here, it's 24, but uh, yeah. Okay, so these got to point down like this. Okay, so you can put them in straight, but you got to have them pointing down, kind of like that. That's the way they got to go at first. Because eventually they will turn and go back like this. But you got to make sure that's in there, right? Okay. Now we take that. Now we take another piece. We're going to take this guy here, and we're going to put our toe on. And that's why you wanted this facing up on a bit of an angle so you can get that lined up in there and do that. Okay? Because we're going to have some toe movement. Not a heck of a lot, but we're going to have some. Okay? Now we're going to take H15 which looks like this guy. And he's going to go over top of this. Providing I got it lined up. side lined up, but not the other. Come on. There we go. Alright. So make sure that that's flush all the way down there on that little gray part. And we're going to put our bottom half on here. starting to look like a foot. Except, I think this should be flush. Oh, no, no, it's, it's dug in. Okay. So there's that. Now, we need uh, F25, which is a little cover piece. Well, those are those orange pieces. Um these two. Okay. And we got stickers to put on. Okay. So, we got our stickers. We have our remaining stickers and they go on the foot and then we're done. So we want number six and seven and that's these two here. And they're going to go on each side of this piece. So, just like I did before, start it with my knife and then grab it with my tweezers and it's going to line up on here. There's clearly some fitment issue. <laughs> Keeps wanting to like there's it's magnetic. I'm guessing there's some kind of static going on. Which is giving me the challenge of lining it up properly. That looks pretty good. I don't think it's 100% lined up, but that's okay. I'm never really going to notice. Because it does kind of get hidden. So where this is going is going to be going in here, so you don't really see too much of it. It's just a very slight color variation. If I was planning on doing a lot of customization on this kit, I probably would just not use the decals at all. And uh, I'd just paint it. For my purposes today, um, I think the decal or sticker will be just fine. I saw a video yesterday on YouTube. A guy claimed he never built a Tamiya kit ever again. 
You know, since I'm building my first kit of that brand, I kind of know what he's on about. You virtually never have to do anything, any alterations, um, Phillips or anything like, where's the fun in that? You know, I see both sides of the story to that, right? Um, if you just want a kit that goes together nice and you're going to don't have to do any filling or anything like that and you just want to paint it put it together paint it decals done um, to me it is absolutely perfect for that everything goes together nice you don't have to fill any gaps you don't have to sand anything down everything just works perfectly on it to me again but if you're the kind who wants to have those challenges where things don't go together right and so you've got to do a whole bunch of stuff to get it to fit right then yeah to me it's not going to be your thing um, I saw, we may have watched the same guy. I watched a guy saying that he's never gonna buy a Tamiya kit because they go together so fast and easy and it takes all the challenge away and that's not fun for him. Um, I, I'm not at that point. I, I like putting a kit together that goes together nice, right? Um, because my skill level as far as using putty and sanding and filling and eliminating panel lines and stuff like that it seems um, it's not to the degree that, um, hold on while the plane takes off, sorry, um, my new mic uh, really picks up the planes now. Um, my skill level's not where I would like it to be to when I start putting together a Ravel kit and I gotta add putty to seams and gaps and stuff. You can tell, you, you see them. I'm, I'm not great at eliminating them yet. So I prefer, right now at least, I prefer a kit that goes together perfectly um, without any issues. Okay, so speaking of going together perfectly, we got our decals or stickers on here. This guy's gotta go in first and he's gonna get lined up and go right on top here like this. Just like that. You know, we're gonna line up. Get in there. Get in your hole. There you go. You're still not in your hole. Speaking of <laughs> not getting on there properly. There. Now it's on. And now we're gonna take this guy. And this guy goes boink, this direction, and these two little tab, tabs just go down in these little holes here. And they should snap in. Maybe not. There we go. So we've got a little bit of movement there for when you're playing around with your, your angles. We have that. Okay, so there's that part of his foot. Now we got a shock absorber put together, which is in here which happens to already be together, these two pieces. Okay, now let's move our parts out of the way. I need this guy, yep, this guy, and this guy, and I need a polycap, T19. going to go on the inside. Where do you go? I'm going to go on this one. And you're going to go in right here. Just like that. And then put these two together. Just like so. Okay. There we go. Now, going to kind of put two and three guys together. So we're going to take this guy and this ball is going to go in here like this. But we're also going to install our shock. Okay. The shock needs to go here. And then I'm going to extend this a little bit because this is going to line up in this hole back here. Okay. So once you get it in proper, that's clipped in. 
that's clicked in. Now when you extend, the shocks work. Just like that. And then we put the front of our foot in. <clears throat> so we've got a little rod in there that's going to go into this little hook. Get that lined up. Click. That was satisfying. I know what you mean. Would you love, uh, would love to build any kit, but with a challenge now and then, <laughs> referring to Ravel. Big laugh. <laughs> Funny thing is to me is more expensive yet easier to build. Does that make sense? Well, yes, it does. Um, because to me, it goes to the goes that extra mile to making sure their kits fit precisely. Um, and so that takes you think about it. It takes more work to do that. It takes a better sculptor, a better mold, um, more precise things, and that stuff's more expensive. And so the kit's going to be more expensive. So you think about it that way, it makes sense, right? Um, maybe labor in Japan is more expensive than Germany. <laughs> that could be a factor too. I don't know really, right? Okay, so we got those together. Now we're going to start working on this part. And what do we got here? This, I'm not sure what part this is. Um, I think that might be this piece right here that we're going to start working on. So, that means I need this guy, and i got to find the other piece, I believe it's this one, and we're going to put a little jet on the bottom of that, okay? So, i got a little, I think it's this one here, it's going to go like this, and we got to find a yellow piece that's going to match that. I think this is one. No, nope, that's too big. This one. There we go. Push that in. There we go. Now, like I've been doing with all my other jet thrusters, I want to glue that yellow, yellow piece in there just so it never falls out. So now we're going to take this and we're going to click it on up here, like that. All right. So now, put my tweezers here. Um, we're going to take this guy. We're going to take our little cover here. And we're going to put it on. And line these little guys up on the sides so it can fit in just like so okay and then we're going to put our cover on over top of this so we got to find that piece um, do, 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 do. where are you here you are this guy here goes over top of that oh look at that I lined it up right <laughs> wasn't even trying and it lined up so that's eventually what's going to happen here. So now you can open, that's going to be able to open up and uh, have the jet thruster in the foot, top of the foot there. Okay. So now we take our big silver back piece. That's this guy right under here. This big, this big guy here. And we'll start building that. And that takes these two little guys. One here, and where's my other side? There it is. There. <clears throat> These guys go on. And they just kind of line up and go here. Like that. Okay. Thank you, airplanes. You can go away anytime now. I think I might wind up shutting my window. <laughs> Okay, so that's together. Now we start working on these pieces. So we gotta take, I think it's going to be this guy here. Yes. And we gotta put a couple gotta put a couple of poly caps in. T19 and T2. 
Here's T2. T19, 1819, there we are. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. So 19 goes here. Just like so. And then T2 is going to go here. It only goes one way. I'm going to have to clean that nub off though. Cut that off. And then drop that in there. Press in in there. Okay. And now we're going to take another shock absorber. This guy here. Okay. And he's going to go in. He goes in. Where do you go, Mister? Hmm. I think he goes right here. Now, where's the other half of this guy? Over here. Make sure it lines up. There we go. Just like that, okay? So we got we have our other piece that's going to go in here eventually. Maybe might be the next step I don't remember and so we're gonna flip our page I'll go over to this side now and sure enough yes they want this going in there doink and then we want our black kneecap going just like this so get it lined up right there we go and now we're gonna take another big piece one of these guys and put this guy inside of it. Uh, this is the wrong side. Here we go. Last post before I go. I bought myself an Edouard kit photo etch for 148th scale. Never again. <laughs> Parts are so small you can't even take them off, take them with tweezers, let alone you'll never see them again. What's your take on that? I must say, I bought the masking sheets, but not the ones you have to cut out, but the ones that are already cut for a plane with a lot of windows. It's a real treat. Uh, yes. Photo etch. I struggle with the photo etch. Um, it is, so far, so far the photo etch thing that I've done um, you can see I did a photo etch kit for the big F-15, the 132nd scale. I've done photo etch seat belts on a 48 scale. Um, and of course the photo etching was, I had a lot of photo etching in the kit for the, uh, the Terminator tank that I just finished before I started this. Um, I don't like photo etching. It is extreme detail, precision stuff. It, I, okay, I, I can't deny it looks great when it's finished. And it adds realism and it is a lot more to scale when you're talking 48 scale parts. Um, because you can't, there are just some things molding in plastic it's suddenly not in scale anymore. It's it's too thick, and that's just the limitations of the plastic mold. And that's why photo etching is a thing. Um, but, yeah, it is a pain to work with. I'm gonna be building a, once this is done, I'm gonna be working on a uh, one 350 scale model of the Turpets uh, battleship. And I've ordered the photo etch kit for it and it comes with something like six uh, runners of photo etching because you get all the railings and the little stairs. Um, I'm not really looking forward to that part but I know it's going to add so much more to the detail of the ship um, and it's actually going to be one of, uh, one of, it's going to be my second actual commission uh, models 
a um, friend of a friend has asked me to build it for him and he's going to buy it from me. Um, so model ships are not really my thing, but this is, I don't know, good for business, I guess, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I've agreed to build it and I'll charge him a little bit of money for it. Um, basically, if, as far as I'm concerned, if I cover my cost and maybe make 50 bucks or something, I'm, I'm good, right? Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I've always said this before, I'm not a professional model, I'm just a dude who likes to build models, right? And uh, I like to share the skills that I've learned over time and show people what can be done without being a professional and you can make kits that look half decent, right? Um, yeah, anyway, so there's my spiel on Photo Edge. Um, they look great, they're a pain in the neck. <laughs> two sides of a coin of the same coin right it's yeah okay so I gotta get the right piece here this one now how are these gonna line up this little guy here our little shock has to go in I think it's right here which is gonna put this into this hole I believe Is correct. So it's just a matter of getting it in there and that's lined up so that will do this. Okay. They do show you here, although you can't see it on the screen, how it's supposed to go. When this is all down, that's how it sits like that. Okay. So moving on down. We're now going to put this onto our foot, but they kind of, well, actually we're just going to put this half onto our foot, and so it's going to go like this, this big peg going through that hole right there. Like so. And then we got a few things to put on this one before we put it together. So, we have to put this guy on, he goes right here, like that, and then we have our foot, or our, I don't know, top of the foot piece, it's going to go into this oval slot. Just leave it like that for now. First we drop it, and then we put it together. Thank you for the chat. Have a great, have a great one. I never forget. Some of us are better than we actually realize. Including, well, thank you, Nico. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Okay, so we're going to put this together. It's a little bit tricky to get everything lined up in there. But it will line up. It is a bit of a challenge in getting it lined up straight. Because if you try and line it up crooked, you wind up, it won't go together. So you kind of have to do a little bit you know, here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. Eventually, you get everything all snugged up. You know, everything's pressing onto poly caps, so you don't get that, you know, that snap as it's all, all gone together. So, you should have some movement on this and this. This can slide up and down, okay? And we have movement on our kneecap, okay? Which, of course, when you extend it, you get to see the shocks inside there. All right, so there was, there's that. And then we have a little bit of movement here. And that's about it. Okay. Make sure everything's together. Tight. There you go. So there's that. Now we're going to assemble a couple of rockets. So we're going to take this piece. Let's move these up over here. Take this. We've got our little triple set up here. And we 
I've got three yellow pieces that are going to put in there. So, we have these assembled, now we're going to start working our way up and doing the upper leg. So we've got to have our two halves, we need a poly cap, a T5, right here. Where's T5 go? Well, T5 goes into this guy here. Now, technically, this is the right leg, and I am working on the left, so I should pay more attention to how this is going to go. Because they're showing me the right leg, and I suspect they're going to be showing me the opposite, flip it around for the left leg. So I'm just going to turn my page here and see. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to show, I'm actually going to flip my book here so that I can be actually looking at the left leg, which is right here. Because I want to have this oriented correctly with the foot sitting like this and this guy like this I mean the polycap still goes in the same spot at the end of the day but this polycap is one of the harder ones to get in there shut my window. Bear with me here. I'm going to get real close to the camera because the window's right behind my camera. Okay, so hopefully now we're not going to be hearing as much planes taking off. Okay, so I got this. I got this side. I need the cap that's going to go over on this side. This guy here. Okay, so now, this side goes here. This guy goes on this side. And then this cap goes on here. Only it goes one way. Just like that. It seems backwards to me. It is backwards. Hmm. That is weird. Well, I've done something wrong, clearly. I've clearly done something wrong. I've got it backwards here. But I did what they told me to do. Okay, 
So, oh, careful. Um, I put the poly cap on the wrong side, and that's where I went wrong. The poly cap does not go on the thicker part, it goes on the thinner one. See how one's thick and one is thin? So, we want the poly cap on the thin one. This cap is going to go on to this leg, like that. And now, so the main thing, you see how this one is curved, and it's supposed to curve, so you have the front of your foot and it's supposed to curve back. That's what we want, and that's what it's showing in the pictures. I was, of course, putting it on the, using the diagrams for the wrong leg, and that's how I got all backwards here. So with the curving this way, we put it on this side, like so. And now we've got it proper, okay? Now they want me to go boink like this. And then we're gonna put on our rockets. It's funny they want me to make it so it's hard for me to get in there now. This is step one, that's what they're saying. And my stupid shocks came apart because I overextended it. So, let's see. Just gotta lift up. See, they've come apart in here. So I have to... Try and there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put our jets on, and they're going to go in here. Push down, there they go, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to take Q8, which is a little cover piece. I saw him before. Is it this guy? No. This guy doesn't, I don't think so. This guy, nope. Well, it's got to be one of those. It's a dark gray. Here he is. This guy here. This guy gets, this guy's a little bit flimsy at first. I had him fall off on me a few times. So we need to get him locked in right here. And so we do need to bend, extend the knee back to about there so that we have access to the insides here. Fortunately, these kind of flare out a little bit and allow you to get these little circle notch things locked in there. But it's a bit of a pain um, because it's really flimsy at first, right? It, kind of does that. It's a little bit flimsy. Once you get a couple of things put on and it stays in place, it, it does stay, but I had it come off on me a few times when I was assembling the other leg. Okay, so with that done, we can move on down here. There's nothing else to do there. This is supposed to, I believe, yeah, tuck in there like that. Okay. And now, we move down here, and we grab one of these, and we grab a couple of little thin panels. This guy here, and he goes on here like this. Okay. Now, is that the right way? We have a couple. There's like lefts and rights. that looks more like the picture, plus this little guy. 
okay? Now, funny enough, they have a little notch, so they sit just, this is where they're supposed to sit in their kind of stowed position. And it goes in, looks like right here. Put our calves on this guy and this guy now because the leg is curved these only go on one side each it's just a matter of which way is up right and that's when you try and test fit if you, you realize pretty quickly which way is up it's just a matter of getting your things lined up. Hmm. Hmm. You can even look at the other leg and see. These things are all supposed to line up on the tabs, but they don't want to. There we go. Just like that. My problem was, you've got these slots here, there and there, and I'm trying to line up these little tabs onto those slots, and, well, they don't. They go in between them. There's our two calves put together. Bingo. Okay. So the calves are together. Now we move over to the other side. And we've got to take a big piece like this. Okay. And we're going to take one of these guys. And this guy here. So. Take this guy. He's going to go on this thing right here that okay just like that and we take this oriented in the way that they're showing in the diagram and click that in there like that okay and we're gonna take one of these guys now which one do we want this one got a little peg here it's got to go in the back way up top here okay and put this one on first okay and you notice how that kind of goes right over top of that and it should these little these three little guys here they should be flush right against there okay okay now we take this guy and we're going to click this into that little thing right there that we put the that are in between these so this has gone in this has gone into the side of the leg and now this is going to latch onto it like that okay you have a bit of wiggle room you got lots of play in here so you can get in there and uh get her to line up and, and snap in. There we go. So that's in its expanded form and it, it will go down and you can line it up and get it all nice and tight in there like that. And that looks nice, right? But this is a psycho, it's got the psycho frame so it's got panels that open up like that into like battle mode. Yeah. Anyway, so that will be it for this page. We've got to flip the page again. Okay. So, the assembly is going so fast when you don't have to clean up everything. <laughs> Just move this over here. Okay, so we now have the main rocket to assemble, which means we need this guy, and we need this guy, and we need this guy, and we need 
this guy. So, we're going to first take this and we are going to snap this onto here, okay? Like that. We take our big gray piece, and this is where this one's unique. This gray piece is really loose on here, it doesn't actually sit. So, because the yellow piece actually has this that goes right through it, and then does that. And it's actually got a little bit of play. So this is one where I don't actually glue this one because it's a yellow piece holding it all on on a little bit of a ball joint, okay? So then we're gonna take this big honking round piece and we're gonna take one of our silver guys. Now, I don't know why, well, I, I do know why, we have to match up because I've got three silver pieces now that are very similar and I need to match them up properly to this piece because it's going to go right in here okay so which one lines up which one's correct hey was it the first the one on my first try <laughs> it was uh, the first one I grabbed boom there we go it's a little bit loose I don't like that looseness so I don't remember if I glued it on the other leg. But I'll just put a little little dab here, and a little dab here, just to secure it. Yeah, see there's that one would never I don't know. It looks similar. It seems like I have an extra one for some reason. Just seeing, did I forget one? <laughs> anyway, um, so that's that. <clears throat> so now we're going to take our rocket and it's going to go right on there, just like this. Snap, make sure this isn't going to bind. Snap, it's in place. There we go. Okay. And so now we're going to do the same little thing on this side, okay? We got to take this guy here, this guy here, facing like this. We take this piece, goes here, line up that little notch. There we go. And we have, should have another one, this guy here, just like so. And now we put this on. So we go this one first. Right into there. Just like that. And then we put our piece on up here. That's this one. Good, yep. Well, lined up. This looks like it. Yes. We're not quite lined up here though. So, let's do that. Now it's lined up. Okay. And now we put our rocket on. Let's bend this out so we've got some play. And it's going to snap in uh, right in that spot here. Just like that. And once again, this side also will come down and tuck in and be nice and tight and flush and everything like that. Or you can have it uh, popped out like that, right? Okay, so that's that. So we got this done, now we're moving down. They're calling this completion, okay? So we have, let's bend our knee up forward. We have a little piece that's got to go on here. And that is this guy. So he has stuck to my band-aid. Um, he's got this little tab here, and that goes at the bottom and goes into that little slot. Right? No. 
and actually there's actually two slots it goes in like this just like that then we got our big fin on the back it's got a nice big slot here that's going to fit in right along here okay and it's going to fit just like that like is for that to fit a little better here. There we go. Okay. That fits in tight. So I'll show you um, how this is all looking if I tuck these panels in. They're all with a little bit of finesse it all tucks in nice and tight. And we got a nice nice big leg skirt kind of thing going on there, right? Or you have it all flared out like on this leg. There's your two two different uh, styles, whatever you want to have it set as, right? Okay, so moving on, we've got that done. Now we move back to the front here. And we've got to do this in order. We're gonna have this down, pulled down like this. Then we're going to have this piece, and it's going to go on and cover up this little section. So we've got to try and find out how that lines up. Yeah. Just, oh, there we go, get in there. Just like that. Kind of presses in and fits in between everything. Right. And now we have this guy going to cover up this piece. It's just a matter of lining up the little slots. Like that. So it's still a little bit, I'm not happy with whatever, you know, but it's there. Okay. So now. The leg is done, but I still have this piece. Where's this from? I think it might be extra, <laughs> or it's not even part of this. time than I thought it would to assemble the leg. All right, our legs are done, which means we got to move on to the backpack. And I have a little box of backpack parts. And I have two little jet cones, or three of them. I'm not sure if they're part of, you're going to need them for the backpack or not, but that's it. So there's our legs. I'll just put them aside here. Legs are done. Although now they're saying I can put the legs on the waist. So with the legs being done, I can put them on. I'm hoping for a big snap here. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping for a, a snap. I love it when the snaps on, but I don't get one. Just sort of a sort of a it's there kind of thing. Big chonkers.
Yeah. <laughs> Tall boy. Look at him. Look at that. He's huge. And I don't even have his backpack or his arms on yet. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'm just going to set him down over here for now. Set him aside because we've got to build the backpack. There's not a heck of a lot to the backpack, right? Uh, at least not so far. Here I've already assembled one pack with the funnels in it, okay? And I have, as I showed you this on the last video, I got the two fuel tanks assembled, literally four pieces each. That's nothing special about them at all, okay? But I will show you how one of these gets put together. So, we have our backpack parts. So, I am going to just kinda, the more pieces I know I don't need yet. So I need these. And I need this. And I'm going to need this piece. And this piece. Okay. So there are, there's a little gray poly cap that goes onto this little tab here. Now, when I was assembling the other piece, when I was assembling this one, the very first one I put on, as soon as I went to put this piece onto here, um, it fell off. And so what did that cause me to do? It caused me to glue them. So I glued them on, okay? So this slides onto a little tab here, and then I just put a little bit of glue on there to make sure it's gonna stay, right? Um, so that's that. So what you do is you take this piece here, and you kind of assemble it a little bit here. I'm gonna to need to find my other gray piece right here. This goes onto this, like that. You gotta line it up here. Get it lined up like that. It goes on like, just like so. Then this piece locks in. You got your little hook that goes into here. And it should snap in for you. There we go, okay. I don't know why they give it so much movement because there's not, when it's in here, that doesn't really move. But anyway, so that's that. Then we put, with this in the right direction, this goes right in the middle, right in here. Okay. It's a little bit tricky to line it up. And of course, having it glued in is going to help. There we go. So you got that rocking motion, right? It will open up. There we go. Just like that. Okay? So, for now, we leave them open. And we flip the page. So now we have this like this. We need uh, a couple of poly caps, T22. And we need two of them. Where's 22? There we go. And we need P28, that's going to be this guy here, okay? So we're going to put our poly caps on this guy, paying attention to how they're showing in the picture, they're going to go like this, and like that, okay? And then we're going to grab this piece, and we're going to go right into the back there, okay? push that down so it's like this okay just like that okay that's how it looks all right so now we have that we're going to take this and we're going to go a1 is our little silver guys these guys here and they're going to get snapped in 
as you can see there was the center one that these are attached to now we have these outer ones okay and that's what these get attached to and I found these were a little bit tricky to get in there at first but if it did kind of at an angle it eventually went into their little tabs snapped in and now that can flip open to independently. There we go. Okay. So we get up like that and they flip open like this too. Okay. So now we have those, we want them all closed, just like so. And we're going to put the bottom on. And there we go. We have it assembled. And that's our little funnel launcher thing. And I just got a message from my friend, so just a second. Alright, so now we need to build a funnel. What's a funnel? The funnel are these little red guys. So I have built all of them except one so that I can show you how one of these go together. They are actually quite innovative and uh, very neat. And what they do, they get this little hole there and they'll just line up on the tab and they just press in. So if I open this up again, okay, see now that it's together that's a little bit rough. You see they got these little tabs that they sit on all you do is just press them down and they sit in there just like that okay so we have one more to build though and i have all my little parts inside here bear with me a moment All right, okay, let's start building a funnel. Now, we don't need that, that's backpack. So are these. Funnel parts, we're gonna start with one of these, okay? And one of these, and one of these. So this goes in here. It only goes one way. You, you'll find when you're, you're rotating it around, all of a sudden, doink, it falls in. So you push that down until it stops, okay? And then you're gonna take this guy, and he's gonna go in from the bottom, and again, it only goes one way. You try and get him in, it won't go, all of a sudden, doink, it goes in, and you can push it now all the way down. And so you can just have that sitting like this. Now we get a little booster on the bottom, and that's this little guy here, and he just goes, doink, like that, okay? Now we have the inner workings of our funnel put together. So now we have four of these little guys. Okay? Four of these. These have to go on. And what these do is they just kind of sit in like that. And basically took nothing to put it on so what I do is what I how I found out the easiest way to do it is to hold it at each end and put them on of course having a band-aid on my thumb doesn't help for picking them up and then we just go doink that's two give it a little bit of a rotate 
three, rotate. And four, just like that. And now, now that you have all four on, we're gonna put the cap on. Now what's unique about the cap is you have these little tiny tabs right there, there, and there. And they all line up in a certain way. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna line up the one that lines up perfectly with the with this one, okay? Because these other two they kind of go in between these two. This one lines up perfectly with that. Looking inside the cap, you can see the little slots that it's gonna go into. And so I'm gonna find the one that lines up there. And then I put it on just like that. And press down, and now all of those little guys are sandwiched in there and they're not going to go anywhere. And now the cool thing, this is the funnel now in flying form. And so to put it into closed locked position form, whatever, stowed form, all you do is you just fold these guys in. And the cool thing that happens is this guy that's sticking out, as you fold it in, he hides. Did you notice that? See how it sticks out and these suddenly go out? You close them up and he slides back in. And there we have our finished completed funnel. And he can get stowed away just like his five friends. Just like that. Okay. So that's this part, boom, all done, put them away, put them in there, and now we're going to continue on with the backpack. So <clears throat> we're going to grab, I'm just going to dump these out now, these are all backpack parts. <clears throat> we're going to take this guy and this guy, and we need a T12 polycap, but I don't have any more T12s. Oh yeah, I do. I got lots. What am I talking about? I think I probably got way more than I need. So where does it go? It's nice of them to show me the frickin' polycap going in on this side. They show it this side, but it's hidden. It's like, oh, it goes here. Here, do you see where it's going? Do you see where it's going? No. I can only guess that it's going into this spot here. showing me it going here. Of course I can't freaking line it up with my fat fingers. which means I need a second one. in there and then this is gonna go so nothing else going in between them See, the polycaps are not allowing it to close properly. It's 
So, I'm going to try this. Now I know the poly caps go into those. I'm going to put them into those first. <clears throat> like so. actually bleeding. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's line those up in there and hopefully Here we go. We got her together. Okay. Now we're going to take this guy and he's going to go and lock in right there. Bingo. And then we're going to take which one? This guy. And he's going to go over top. The little slots lining up there. like that. So this is, I guess, well, it's got a little bit of movement to, oh yeah, to do that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take our little double thrusters. Which we have our little double yellow guys to go in on there. Double gluing to do. <laughs> and we have a single thruster, a single yellow guy. for this little container. So, these guys, we need to pay attention to the orientation. They're going to go up here. Okay? Like that. And then our single thruster, again, paying attention to orientation, it's going here. Now we got T17 polycap needs to go here and here. It's 10, 17. It's these two big guys here. Okay. 
Okay. They don't seem to have any orientation. They just go in here. Just like that. And then these guys go on. Is there a left and a right? Yes, there is. Oh, snaps on nice. And this one didn't snap at all. <laughs> oh well. And there's that. And so, final completion of the backpack is our fuel tanks going on. So, and our funnel funnels going in there. This is kind of apart for some reason. Should enough. There we go. And there's our backpack. And that's it. Like I said, this backpack is not complicated really at all. As far as backpacks go, there's no other than the funnels. There's no weapons on it. Right? So, now all we gotta do is put it together. Two tabs on his back for these two holes. Just like that. And so we'll give him a couple of arms. He's now a little bit back heavy, so let's lean him forward a little bit. Now, a unique thing about his left arm is his shoulder and how his shield attaches. So here's one arm. See, this is why I want to glue the shoulder piece onto the, the shoulder pad onto the shoulder. Because it just comes off so easy. And I hate that. There's that. Now, there's this little bracket here. If I show you. This bracket here is where his shield will actually clip on. And that's kind of neat. I like that about that. You don't have to worry about him actually holding on to the shield or anything like that. And where that ties in is right here. And you can bend that down. So it's stupid shoulder pads. So the shield has this little slot here, or this little hole, okay? And it just goes onto that tab. And bingo, he's now holding his shield. And there we go. There is the Master Grade Sasabi, Verka Edition. Complete, done, finally assembled. That was a lot of work. Now, I didn't, I didn't put up 10, 12 videos, but um, I did spend a lot of time off camera working on this guy. So, we have our little gimmicks. This thing pops up. This pops out a little bit. Like that. Okay, same on this side. We have our thrusters here that they pop out and open up. All these little things that pop up, open up, widen up for his battle mode kind of thing. And shows you, it exposes thrusters that are not normally visible when it, everything's all closed up. But that's it guys. Here, um, let me do this for you. He is currently my biggest 
Gundam. Um, yeah. He's uh, impressive. Now, I already have built his weapons, okay? I've done his weapons. So here's his axe, okay? And the axe, you have options on what um, what kind of blades. You can have two of these. Okay, you can have two of these guys like this, so the thing is like that. You can have one long and one short. Like that. Okay, you can even have one of the beam saber things going in the middle of it. Like so, a little bit loose right now, like that. Right? You can unhook it and it does unhook and do this. It's a little bit tricky to undo it. And you can swing it around. So he's now got double-bladed, you know, like Darth Maul. Like so, holds it in the middle there. You can do that. That's not my thing. I won't be... I am going to have the axe stowed in his shield. That'll be me, because there is a spot inside the shield that this gets stowed away in. So I will have it stowed. I don't really like the whole energy axe, uh, beam saber uh, thing. I think that's too Star Wars-y. This is a lightsaber all of a sudden, you know? Eh. But he does have guns. Where did I put his guns? There they are. So, we have the big rifle and the big gun. So, two weapons. Um, I like this one. This is like a shotgun. It's got the... This little piece slides. And I think that's kind of cool. It's like boom, boom, boom. That's kind of neat. Um, the pistol grip has some movement there see on that camera. Anyway, here's that on this camera. The, uh, he's in the way now. This piece slides. Right? So, anyway. That's it. And that's him. And he's done. Beam shot rifle. Yes, that's what it's called. It actually tells you in the instructions, too, what they're called. Um... So yeah, that's it. I have a few extra parts off of the runners, and I got a whole lot of extra poly caps left over. Um, and that is it. That completes the build of the Master Great Zazabi Verkar Edition. So I've got decals to put on. And then, basically, that'll be it. I might do a flat clear coat on them. Maybe I have to decide whether I'm going to keep them all nice and shiny. Or if I'm going to make him look like he's actually been out in battle doing something. Um, but we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. It's only finished when you say it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, I do have decals to put on, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I do that. I do decals off off camera because it's a long, boring process, and it's not very exciting to watch at all. Right. Um, yeah. Do it on screen. <laughs> the decals is just a very boring thing to do. I find decals are 
are boring. It's content that's already paid for. Yeah, that's that's true. That is true. Um, yeah. But as it is uh, 9.30 in the morning here where I am, uh, in the Canada on the West Coast, and I haven't had breakfast yet, um, I think I want to do that. And, uh, yeah and get that done. I'm happy that this is finally complete. Um, this has been sitting on my shelf now for quite a while, just waiting for me to build it, and I was kind of saving it as, um, I don't know, it was going to be just a bit, little bit more of a, a special piece, because it was, I don't know, it was, in my mind I was thinking, yeah, it's Verka, and it's, uh, Oh, uh, you've been lurking for two days? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was kind of just holding off on this, and finally I was like, you know what? That big honking box is taking up too much space. i got to finally get this thing put together. And so I finally did. This comes out like that. Yeah. So I finally got it together. I'm not sure what the gimmick is with this. I know that uh, at the back of the instruction booklet, it shows you some, a couple of weapons from the Sinaji, and that can actually go onto and combine with the rifle, which is kind of neat. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm gonna take, shut that off. It's a big honking guy. Yeah, it looks like you can, from the Sinanji, you take like the optics, the, the scope, and you take one of its guns and actually mount it to the underneath. Such a, so the, this is the beam shot rifle, this is the long rifle. <laughs> beam shot and long rifles, yeah. And the tomahawk. Oh, and this came apart. That's not supposed to do that. There. Yeah, so with that, we're going to end it here. And... Uh, call it a day at least as far as recording goes and uh, yeah I'm going to spend some time putting decals on this and then when I got that done I'll take a few still shots and I'll upload those to my Instagram so you guys get a can have a look at those if you want to head over and do that and uh, yeah so for you guys watching on YouTube, if you've made it this far in the video and in the series, hit that like button. Please, hit the like button and hit subscribe. It's over here on this side. And, uh, yeah. Um, if you like this stuff, if you like what you see, tell your friends. Tell them to head on over and check me out. <laughs> like and subscribe and all that stuff. Everybody asks for that, right? That's what we all want. All of the YouTube people, we all want likes and subscribes and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, you can use the followers on Twitch, too. And I'll put links down in the description box. Always do. Anyway, uh, thanks, Bob. Thanks for the chat at the end of my stream here. Sorry if, it's, if uh, you just joined and uh, caught me right at the end. But um, thanks again. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming out. And, uh, yeah, Big Honkin' Boat is going to be the next one. So that's going to be the 1350 scale um, Turpits by Tamiya. So 
I'll be working on that probably next week. And yeah, so thanks guys again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out. And we'll see you all in the next one.